Okay, a little bit on how to transport a trike, a reverse trike to be exact. Doesn't matter if it's one of mine or if it's a Can-Am Spider. This is the way uh, to transport these. You hook your straps on the bottom A arm. And that's it. Two straps in the front, one on each A arm. And you strap it on the lowest one. What this allows the bike to, to bounce up and down without changing the tension on the straps. So the straps stay tight no matter what and the bike can float up and down, that's just fine. If you mount, the, if you strap up high, what'll happen is that the, as the bike bounces up and down, it'll snap or fray the straps and break them. Uh, on the back, same thing, you hook to the, the rear of the bottom A-arm, as you see here, and to the fasten it to the back of the trailer. Uh, the other alternative on this is you can get by with three straps if you have a a mount here in the middle of the trailer you can probably hook on the back of the bike um, and that's fine a lot of people think you have to strap the back of the bike so it doesn't shift from side to side it's actually impossible for it to move because the front end is locked in solid and unless the bike hinges in the middle there's no way it can move and uh, I transport bikes like this all the time and I've never had an incident the only time I've had a problem is when I strapped up high and we ended up with uh, eight straps broken on two bikes. So uh, it's not a good thing to strap up high. So this does work. It's quick and it's easy and uh, it's secure.